How do we build a cladogram? Let's take a look at these organisms. What makes them the same? What makes them different? I see things like tails, horns, spikes, four legs, and wings. So let's look at the characteristic of tail. We see it in two, three, four, and five. I probably need to create a chart to keep track of this. So what was it? Organism one has no tail. Organism two, tail. Three, tail. Four, tail. Five, tail. Now I'm going to look at spikes. Organism two has spikes. Four has spikes. And five has spikes. We fill in our data table. My next characteristic is horns. I see horns in five. Do you see horns in anything else? Let's add that to our data table. Now you go ahead and complete the table for wings and for limbs. Your data table should now look like mine. This is all fine and good, but now how do I change this into a cladogram? You need to draw a Venn diagram starting with a characteristic that is shared by all organisms. In this case, four limbs. So I draw the big circle, add the characteristic, and the organisms. We continue with the shared characteristic of tail. The next one I see shared by many is spikes. which was shared by organisms 2, 4, and 5. What would be the next one? Add them to your Venn diagram. Cool, so now we have a complete Venn diagram of shared characteristics. Now what? Remember that at the bottom of the cladogram, we have the most shared characteristics. So the characteristic of four limbs would go way down here the next shared characteristic, tail, would go here, and so on for spikes, wings, and horns. We work backwards to add the organisms. Which one goes there? Organism 5. Since we already used organism 5, we can cross him out, which leaves us organism 2 as the next one. We cross out 2 and 5, leaving us organism 4. Which one is the next one? And finally, so now we have our completed cladogram and can use it to analyze evolutionary relationships. We know things like organism 2 and 5 share a common hornless ancestor and that the trait of tail appeared way before the trait of wings. In short, to create a cladogram, you first identify characteristics, create a data chart, and fill it in. Use the data chart to create a Venn diagram of nested characteristics, and finally use the Venn diagram to create the cladogram. Remember, you start with shared characteristics, which go along the side, and the organisms, which go at the top, are added last. And that is how you build your own cladogram.